Your Excellency, the enormity of the measures taken by the government in Punjab for quelling some local disturbances has with a rude shock revealed to our minds the helplessness of our position as British subjects in India. The disproportionate severity of the punishments inflicted upon the unfortunate people and the methods of carrying them out are, we are convinced, without parallel in the history of civilized governments. Considering that such treatment has been meted out to a population disarmed and resourceless by a power which has the most terribly efficient organization for the destruction of human lives, we must strongly assert that it can claim no political expediency, far less moral justification. The accounts of the insults and sufferings by our brothers in Punjab have trickled through the gag silence, reaching every corner of India. And the universal agony of indignation roused in the hearts of our people have been ignored by our rulers, possibly congratulating themselves for what they imagine as salutary lessons. Knowing that our appeals have been in vain, and the passion of vengeance is blinding the nobler vision of statesmanship in our government, which so easily could afford to be magnanimous as befitting its physical strength and moral tradition, the very least that I can do for my country is to take all consequences upon myself in giving voice to the protest of millions of my countrymen surprised into a dumb anguish of terror. The time has come when badges of honor make our shame glaring in the incongruous context of humiliation, and I, for my part, wish to stand shorn of all special distinctions by the side of those of my countrymen who, for their so-called insignificance, are liable to suffer degradation not fit for human beings. and regret to relieve me of my title of knighthood which I had the honor to accept from His Majesty the King 
at the hands of your predecessor, for whose nobleness of heart I still entertain great admiration. Yours faithfully, Rabindranath Tagore. Thank you.